The Arca 70 IT Android tablet is under 300 bucks. It's less than half the price of the Galaxy with no contract or commitment to a carrier. The HD model has 250 gigabytes of storage, more than most netbooks, more than any other tablet out there. You can flash it with Android 2.2 Froyo and install the Android Market to make it a true modern Android tablet. Unlike the iPad, it has a front-facing camera for video VoIP calls through Fring and SIP. It has loud stereo speakers and built-in HDMI out to connect it to monitors and televisions. It has Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. With Bluetooth, you can tether it to your cell phone and surf the net, or connect it to an external GPS receiver and use it as a navigator. You can root it and use it as a network test tool for ping sweeps and port scans. You can dual or triple boot it with other flavors of Linux, like Angstrom. You can use it as a full-blown, ultra-portable PC, printing from it, creating documents, mixing and composing music, etc. You can email and surf the net and play Flash 10 content. You can use Facebook, Twitter, etc. Of course, it also makes a great MP3 player, movie player, e-reader, calendar, planner, and texting device for learning to program for the Android operating system. Finally, it's just the right size. Small enough to be portable, but large enough to replace paper books. For this section, let's do some Bluetooth pimping. First, let's add a GPS receiver, and we'll turn the Arca 70 IT into a GPS with a 7-inch screen. To do this, we need an external Bluetooth GPS receiver. You can find good deals on these on eBay, sometimes $20 or $30, or you can also look at TigerDirect.com or PriceWatch.com. Okay. Arca doesn't have a you know, built-in GPS, but I did. I have a external Bluetooth trans, you know, receiver here. I'm just gonna, it has a little rubber sticky thing. I'm gonna turn it on and put it on my dashboard. And what I want to do is scan for devices. And I want to find and pair with the Bluetooth device. And again, there's no built-in GPS capability, but using a couple of Android tools, we can make this our GPS unit. So 0000 is the pairing code. Um, all right, so right now it says paired but not connected. So let me go ahead and go out of here and here and here. And let me shut down. I have a lot of stuff running here, so let me shut down some of these things so I can free up some memory and CPU cycles for other things that we might need. And I want to do... Um, all right, notice if I run GPS test right now. I'll go ahead and run this. and So now it's picking up you know, all of my satellites and everything in terms of their signals. All right, so I've, I've connected... I'm getting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten satellites. Really good connection there. My goodness, what an awesome large screen. Never had a GPS with a screen, you know, a, nice, a big, huge seven-inch screen like that before. Um, all right, so GPS test looks good. And let me shut that down and that down. And now I'm just going to open up my navigation program, which is basically Sigic Maps, but it's Aura. So I have Bluetooth, I have my and I have my GPS receiver connected over Bluetooth to the device. And these are just Sigic maps, mobile maps, that I had on my Nokia N900 cell phone that I'm now using on um you know, basically that I'm I'm now using here on my uh, Arcus. And it found right where I am, you know, here at Kaiser University on Bill France uh, Boulevard. And let's use some of the navigation features here. So I'm going to try to let me pull up some of the navigation features. And let's go to find. And let me do destination. And Daytona Beach. Turn left and go along the US 9. Second, let's add a Wiimote. We'll turn the Arca 70 IT into a portable game console. We need a Wiimote. Alright, um, this is a neat little app. You can download from the Android store. There's an app for that. And um, I go here. And let me go all the way here. And it's just Wiimote controller. Again, you know, my camera doesn't focus that well, but it's called Wiimote controller. Download it. This is what it looks like. Make sure you turn your Bluetooth stack on. Um, in other words, if I go here and here on the Arcos and here, I want to make sure that I have Bluetooth set up and enabled. And that check there means that it is. Um, let me go back to the application. And what I want to do is, I just need, you need this app. 
Um, you know, most Bluetooth devices have a pairing code for obvious security reasons. The Wiimote doesn't. It's just sort of a generic Bluetooth connection. So what this app will let you do that, um, you know, with an Android device. And let's see if I can get a better angle. I'll use the Arcus's built-in stand here. Neat little stand in the back here if you're watching a movie or remote control and stuff in the nut and stuff. Kind of cool there. All right, there. So I kind of that way I can stand it up. And I'm going to go ahead and the way that you know, just like with the dolphin emulator. Remember, the, we were looking at one of the Tinker toys. And, um, if I want to put it into discovery mode so that I can pair it and sync it with something, I have to I simply simultaneously depress the one and the two key. Um, and so I want to do init and connect. Notice it says searching. I'll try to move this little cheap dollar store tripod here. I guess if I'm going to keep doing these, I probably ought to get a decent camera. So maybe that's the next time I list it. I didn't think I would end up doing all these videos. Alright. So, there. Now it's looking. I'm going to simultaneously press both of these. That'll put it into discovery mode. And let me do this again because it took me so long because the camera fell over. Alright, and you can see how the Wii's blinking. And it's searching. Alright, and so it found it. And it's setting up the channels. And I'll try to zoom in there. That's about the best as I can get right there. But basically it says connecting, connected to one Wii mode, setting LEDs, done, pulling button data. And now I can just get feedback. Like watch, if I hit a button on the Wii, it'll register. It'll tell me, you know, what button I'm pressing and it'll, it's just registering there. So it's some feedback. So now I'm going to do two set Wii controller IMEE. Um, I'm going to go ahead and check that. And if you haven't the first time through, you'll have to go to keyboard settings and enable it as a keyboard and input device, which I've already done. But the application will remind you of that if you need to do that. Okay. So I want to leave this app and just leave it running in the background on the device. And now let me go find an emulator. And I'm going to run the Sega Genesis emulator here. It's one of my favorite games ever. It's still Sonic. Old school, 1992, and man, I'm telling you, I just still love that game. Just can't get enough. Some things never get old. You can say what you want. Sega is awesomeness. Alright, so I have the game running on the Arcos, and here's the Wiimote. I'll put that in front of the camera there. I'm trying to, I wonder if I can get, if it's even possible, if I can use both of these here. Alright, so I'm going to try to start a game here. Okay. Man, I'm trying to stretch and put my hands down there, but... Alright, notice. Forward, backward. I can jump. So, I'm just using a standard Bluetooth, you know, Wiimote over a Bluetooth connection to utilize the Sega Genesis emulator and play Sonic. Back in 92, when this game was first developed, they didn't even have, really have Bluetooth. It wasn't even really, con not really conceived of. But you can see, you know, there's hardly, you know, performance is really great. I mean, there's no lag other than I can't really play good because my arms are stretched and my I'm playing in a really crazy, unnatural position. The workman always blames his tools, doesn't he? All right, I'm just a bad gamer. I have no anti court. I can't even say it. Uh, eye hand coordination, but hey. Anyway, the purpose is just to kind of show this neat little Bluetooth um, connection that you can you do, do just a standard Wiimote. And if you had other Bluetooth game controllers, you could synchronize them as well using the same technique application and Bluetooth. At least try to finish the first level, which is really easy, by the way. No big challenge there. Alright, so that's using a Bluetooth Wiimote and a Sega Genesis emulator on the Arco 7. We'll look at overclock at it to get some decent speed. And here's Resident Evil. Then I'll pull up the clear disc of Resident Evil. Resident Evil 2, excuse me. 
This game contains scenes of explicit violence and gore. Pretty decent on a 7 inch screen. And, you know, the thing I like about it, 10 inch screens, I mean, I think that's great and all. If you're like an iPad fan, I think the 10 inch Arcos is good. You know, you can't beat it for the money. I mean, come on, they're like less than half the price of other Android tablets out there, and they do everything that they do. Um, but I, I like the 7 inch because it's, it's big enough to still, it's, it's way bigger than a cell phone. You know, I, I just got sick of trying to read e text on my cell phone. I'm, I, I'm, you know, I'm getting too old and I have to squint. It's just too small. But by the same token, a 10-inch screen is just too big to carry around with you. But I think they're on to something. I, you know, I think the Galaxy and I think Arcos, people with these 7-inch, you know, Dell with these 7-inch screens, they're on to something. That's like the perfect size. We needed something in between a laptop and a cell phone. You know what I'm saying? Like a step up from a cell phone, step down from a laptop, but something that's still pretty portable. And I think these 7-inch screens are it. You know, regardless of what you use, but um, that's just you know Resident Evil there. Resident Evil. Third, let's add a Bluetooth keyboard. We need an external Bluetooth keyboard. You can find good deals on these keyboards on eBay and PriceWatch.com. So we did a Bluetooth GPS receiver and loaded up. I had like three gigabytes of Sigic maps I copied from my cell phone, my N900. Um, we looked at using a Wii mote. And now I'm going to set up this Bluetooth keyboard here. And um, this is a folding Bluetooth keyboard. Very aggressive power saving right there. This is the iGo Bluetooth keyboard. All right. Found it on the internet. Got it off of eBay. And look, it, it folds and it opens. And it was only slightly damaged, but it was mostly cosmetic. And it just runs on two AAA batteries on the back. All right, so I just opened the keyboard. Should snap on and let me do control, alt, and function for three seconds. See how it's blinking like that? Alright, so I want to scan for devices. And now it's in discovery mode. And it sees the think outside keyboard. Think outside the box. Okay, and the first time through, since I haven't paired with it yet, I'll have to just connect it. And I should probably use a more secure key than 000, but hey. Now you guys know how to hack my tablet by Bluetooth. Yes, you can break into my Arcos and steal my plans for world domination, which, yeah. Pairing and, oh, I'm sorry, I have to also put the code in here. Too busy talking to uh, pay attention. There. All right, so I, yeah, I also hold down the function key to type the numbers from the keyboard and I entered it, so not, notice they're paired. All right, so that everything's connected. I'm gonna leave my Bluetooth goodness here and I want to go to a note app just to test it out. Let's test out our basic. And it's neat. You can navigate the web browser. You can remote. I can sit here with this keyboard on my lap. And but I'm just going to open a note utility. Ultranotes. That's a good one. Nice big layout. And let's start a note. Okay. And I'll try to do this without putting my hands in front of the camera. Um, hold down shift. Test. Notice I'm just typing on the wireless Bluetooth keyboard. Test this note is what we will call this all right i'm just going to click down here and i am typing this on a <clears throat> it's really hard to type from this angle bluetooth keyboard if i keep typing from this angle i will get a severe in my neck. So it's good for email and surfing the net, remote controlling the device, and occasionally sending the exceptionally long, annoying, frustrating text message. Um, if you, I have Skype installed on it, and I can do text messaging through Skype and phone calls. Haven't got the video working yet with the camera. I do have the video working with Fring, but not with uh, Skype. But I, I, I can make you know phone calls and things with Skype and do texting with Skype. So that's kind of cool. So that's the Bluetooth keyboard.